Well, hey there, film buffs. What's up? This is Straight Shooter, and welcome to Team Sound Studios, my shooting home, my Red Band review will have spoilers, and I'm going to be reviewing Stuber. Now, this movie is rated R, and it stars Dave Bautista, and I don't know the name of the actor that plays the other guy, the driver in the movie. But basically, the premise of the movie is that Dave Bautista plays this cop who is going after this guy who murdered a lot of people. He murdered his partner. He gets eye surgery, LASIK or whatever, and he can't drive. He gets a call that there is a drop being made and the guy that he's going after, has been going after for so long, is going to be involved. So he calls an Uber and he basically like ends up using the Uber guy as his partner in crime. He's like, here's a gun, you gotta back me up. And the guy's like, I'm just an Uber driver, I can't do this kind of stuff. And Davis teaches like, you know, man up, whatever, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> The movie's plot is kind of ridiculous. I don't know. I saw the movie because a friend of mine wanted to see it. And I said, okay. Because everything else that was out at the time I had already seen. So I figured, why not? And it was discount night. So if it wasn't a great movie, it's only five or six bucks or whatever. So who cares, right? The movie is all right. It's not something I would have went out of my way to see. And the fact that I saw it, I mean, I I feel indifferent about it. I think that it could have been a little less ridiculous and a little less obvious with the messages. Okay, because here's what I mean. The guy that De Batista plays, he starts out like, you know, he's a man's man. He's like, and he tells the other guy, you know, you're a pussy. You got to man up. You know, you, you haven't fucked this girl that you're in love with yet, right? You got to tell her how you feel. You got to tell her to fuck off if she's not going to get with you and whatnot. And he's like, I can't do that. And you have to understand I am very sensitive. And he's, he's like, give me a hug. He's like, I'm not a hug. I'm a man. And by the end of the movie, of course, he... He gives him a hug, and then he cries. He's like, it's okay to cry, and all this stuff. And it was kind of over the top. And some of the comedy in it was... They were trying to pass it off as dark comedy, but it was actually kind of silly comedy, where, you know, he was in a shootout, and he's like, I shot that guy! And he's like, good for you. He's like, I'm going to pass out now. And, you know, that kind of stuff going on. By the end of the movie, there's a whole twist where the person that what that's supposed to be working with, Dave Bautista's character, she was in on the murderer guy, she was working with him and all that stuff, and it was just kind of one of those things that was like, okay, whatever, nobody cares. It wasn't like anyone said, ooh. <laughs> By the end of the movie, even though they're facing insurmountable odds, they, of course, survive. And the other thing is the murderer's character, like, he, he seemed like he was indestructible. Like, he could fight anyone. He could fight, he could fight Dave Bautista's character and, and get one up on him. Like, and he was, like, half his size. <laughs> that just wasn't realistic to me. And I know it's a comedy, and I know it's a movie. But come on. <laughs> I don't know. I think the movie was, like I said in the beginning, all right. It was okay. It was passable, entertaining-wise. I pretty much got what I expected out of the movie. Which is kind of like a turn off your brain. Just sit there and watch the comedy and action and R-rated curse words. And you'll be entertained. And I guess I kind of was... But I had hoped that there would have been more to it. Especially when I heard that it was doing really good at film festivals 
it was getting good reviews, and I was like, okay, well, maybe there's something to this movie, but no. It's about as ridiculous as Fast and Furious, and which is kind of funny because Dave Bautista came out recently in an interview and said, I was offered a part in the Fast and Furious movies, but I said, no, I would rather be in good movies, and then this comes out. <laughs> And I'm not saying anything a bit against his choices because I love Drax in Guardians of the Galaxy. That's an awesome character, and it's a lot different from him, Dave Bautista. But this movie was kind of like he just like stepped out of the wrestling ring into the movie. So it wasn't really a stretch acting-wise. I would give the movie maybe a C+. Plus. But that's how I see it. So that's two reviews today. And I've got one more coming up. <laughs> see you in a bit, guys. Cardboard!